And right here we got your basic baseboard heater. Now this one is a regular 110 volt baseboard heater. So if you're coming into problems with these things, first things you might want to look at is your power supply. Of course, for starters, go to your breaker box in your basement, make sure you got power coming to your unit, make sure that breaker's turned on, not tripped, and if you do got power to that, what I want you to do is come up to your supply, your supply on your baseboard heater. Alright, you got three different wires coming in. You got a hot wire, a neutral wire, and a ground wire of course, just like with any electrical outlet or anything of that sort. Now if, you, if this ain't working properly, you want to make sure you got electrical voltage to this. Even though it might be on your breaker box, there's a possibility that bad connection, a bad wire, in route somewhere. So for starters, what you may want to do is get your common voltmeter, test your hot wire against your neutral wire, and make sure you're get a, getting close to 120 volts of amperage, 120 volts of power to the unit. Now on this unit, your power comes in on the right hand side, so it flows through, and then it, what it does is it's making this complete cycle. Up inside the fins of your baseboard heater, there's a thermostat, a small wire that runs all the way through. Most likely you're not going to have problems with this, but if you do, something you might want to look at. All that wire does is tells, on this model, we got a dial on the right hand side. When you turn this up or down, depending on where you're at, you know, you might turn it to a higher, higher point, that senses how hot your temperature should be and tells your heater when to kick on or off. 